So it's muffler time. I'm installing the exhaust system right now or working on it. Um, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm installing the muffler first uh, using this tool, which is major, major time saver here. Really the way to do it. Slick. Uh, you can balance it using this and this. You can get this guy totally centered where exactly where you want it. And then what I'm doing is I'm going off the OEM motor mounts here to a bracket right here that I fabbed up earlier and using just standard muffler clamps to go on there. Um, same on the other side here. OEM mount and custom little fabbed bracket and going to a U-bolt, going to a standard muffler bracket, bracket with U-bolts on there. Uh, the important thing here is that I'm going to the, mounting it to the engine in the OEM fashion. Okay, some people will mount it to the body uh, and that's a big, big no-no because the diesel, diesel engine vibrates a lot and the, the, the whole exhaust system has to be mounted to the engine so they can vibrate together basically at the same frequency. Okay, so if the motor sitting here vibrating and the muffler is bolted to or even hung from the body, uh, they're going to be you know, out of sync, so to speak. The motor's going to be vibrating, the muffler isn't, and you're going to crack your exhaust pipes, uh, your, your exhaust system. And I've done that myself, and I've seen other people do it. Uh, but once you mount it to the body or the motor like this, you stop having that. I know, because here's the one that was on my van for years and years. And you can see this crappy, chintzy thing... Uh, as flimsy as that is, that lasted for years, okay? Because it was mounted in the OEM fashion as the VW engineers intended, and uh, it vibrates with the engine, and it lasts uh, lasts a long time. Uh, Joe Westy did a little write-up. I don't know if anybody's read this, uh, how how de you know demon demonizing diesel engines in Vanigans, um, saying that oh it's so you know they vibrate so much they crack all their exhaust systems, and they said they've cracked exhaust systems themselves, and I'm like well. <laughs> You know, you guys are supposed to be smarter than that. You know, so if you mount it to the motor, you won't be doing that. So it's pretty interesting that they're uh, that, that they did that. And they must have mounted it to the body like uh, like boneheads. But in any case, so I'm getting this muffler mounted up, and that's going to be really slick. And tomorrow, I go into the muffler shop, and they will take this over here and run it over here, and uh, go up to my turbo here, and I will have a complete uh, exhaust system. And I'll uh, put a little little uh, give you guys a shot of that later. Okay, so the exhaust system's finished on this thing. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's take a look here and see uh, see what we got. Uh, okay, yeah. So we have a MagnaFlow stainless steel muffler, and six inches around, and it's got two inch inlets, uh, inlet and outlet, and it's just a straight through. And the 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 inlets and outlets are right in the center of it. it makes it it's a real, real nice design here. Um, but we did have a problem. This uh, I forgot to mention this in the other video. Uh, uh, shame on you, MagnaFlow. Okay, uh, when you go to the MagnaFlow website, and I, I invite uh, all you guys to go and check this out. Uh, this is part number one two six four four. Okay, so go to the MagnaFlow website and check out this muffler. Uh, you will see a picture of a beautiful, bright. Uh, polished stainless muffler okay so uh looks pretty damn good so i, I looked at i saw that and i said yeah that's what i want that's terrific and i ordered it okay and it got here and it was dull and it was dark and it had burn marks on all the welds and you know i looked at that and i said what the hell's going on you know that's that's some bullshit <laughs> you know that's some serious bait and switch so i uh called them up i called the company up and asked them you know well, hey what the heck's going on and they were like whoa uh you know I, I i'd asked them about that picture i said you know you got a picture of this sweet muffler you know what's what's going on here and i got this crappy you know uh you know not polished at all this can here and they said well you know uh well you should have read the description on it and i said well, that's bullshit i said you got a picture right there showing i mean it's worth a thousand words uh you know what's what's going on oh well you know uh, we you know we just just got you're supposed to read the description on that so i went and actually talked to the uh one of the head guys he may have been the owner of the company and you know he said the same thing they just would not budge on it you know they just would not admit you know that's a problem and i said you know <laughs> all right guys you know whatever and I, uh, I just, I ended up just polishing it myself instead of going through the hassle of sending it back because it really is, a, you know, other, other than that, it's of excellent quality, you know, thing. It's just rock solid. So I went ahead and polished it out myself. It didn't take, you know, a heck of a lot of time, and it, it did turn out really nice, you know. But MagnaFlow, you know, that's that's pretty bad. I thought that was some serious bullshit. I don't know what you guys think, but to me, that's some crap. Um, uh, other than that, uh, uh, Austin's Pro Max 
in Spanaway, Washington, built the rest of it, fab the rest of the exhaust system. Uh, this is the factory uh, flex coupling, and that is the factory uh, exhaust flange. Uh, these are both from my donor car, from the donor Jetta. So I, what I did is I just prep, you know, cut these and I prepped them and I ground them down, get them, got them ready to weld, both of them. And I took these down and had them build this, uh, this exhaust system for me. And of course the muffler you saw in the other video, I had this already set up and ready to go. So it was really easy for them. They, they built this all up for me. Uh, and this is aluminized steel and this is also polished. So I went and I, I polished the heck out of this uh, so it would mash the stainless. It doesn't come like this when, when they do it. Uh, it basically looks just like the muffler looked, you know, dull with burn marks and everything. So I polished all this up and I think it looks uh, pretty sharp and it is rock solid. I mean, just, just, just tough as nails here. So this is going to be really, really slick. Um, and uh, as I mentioned before, this is uh, mounted in the OEM fashion. Okay. It's mounted to the motor. So the exhaust system and the motor can, can, you know, kind of vibrate in unison at the same frequency there. Because uh, if you, like I said, if you have it mounted to the body, uh, the motor is sitting here vibrating at, at, in you know in its way, and you'll and the, and the muffler isn't you'll break your exhaust pipes. And I found that out years ago, and other people have found that out. And as I pointed out in my other video, if you you know I had a crappy chintzy you know pieced together you know exhaust system that lasted for years mounted this way. So I think this rock solid system will will be just great. Uh, Austin's Pro Max charged me 150 bucks to to weld that up. And to fab that up, and I thought that was, you know, pretty good deal. And the muffler itself was a uh, hundred bucks, so two hundred and fifty bucks. I got a pretty slick uh, exhaust system, I think. And you know, you step back and you look at it, and you know that looks it's nice and nice and shiny, and it looks, you know, looks looks factory. It's just great, uh, great solution there. So uh, hit me up with any questions, and I'll, uh, I'll give you give you whatever answers I can give you. But it's uh, I think this is a, this is a great way to go here.